Firstborn Ministry, bringing the infallible Word of God to the world. Day by day, yes. 
Hear my cry, O Lord. Yes. And attend unto our prayer. Yes. Yes. There ought to be a cry. My Lord Jesus. <laughs> yes. Ah. Yes. There ought to be a cry. Yes. You see, folks sometimes equate crying with weakness. Hmm. And because of that, society has set certain guidelines on how one should express their inner emotions. I'm talking about the spiritual emotions. There ought to be a cry. Yes, yes. There ought to be a cry. Hmm. Jesus. I will not hesitate but to entitle this message, There is power in crying out. Oh, yeah. Lord. Jesus. There is power in crying out. Folks sometimes are scared hmm. to cry. My Lord. You're sometimes scared to cry, especially the male species. Mm -hmm. The male species think that they have to be macho. Hmm. <laughs> they have to be macho because society set them up yes. to behave a certain way that they should suppress their emotions. Mm -hmm. When they feel the deep pains inside of them, if they cry out, then it's going, it's going to look as if they are weak. My Weaklings. But well, I'm here to tell each and every one that there is power. Mm -hmm. The power of crying out. Mm -hmm. When you cry out from the heart, yes. something happens. Yes. There is a shift. Mm -hmm that takes place when anyone cries out from the depth of your heart before the Almighty God. The Word of God says in Isaiah 40 from verses 1 to 3, Comfort, yes, comfort my people, says your God. Yes. Why would God want to comfort unless you cry out? Amen. Speak comfort to Jerusalem and cry out to her that her warfare is ended, My Lord. that her iniquity is pardoned, Jesus. for she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert, the voice, make straight in the desert a place for our God. Mm -hmm. And the voice said, cry out. My Lord. Mm. And he said, oh, what shall I cry? Mm -hmm. What shall I cry? What is in your heart mm -hmm. this morning oh, that deserves a cry out to God? Yes. My Lord. What is it? My Jesus. Lord. That is perplexing you for a long Jesus. time. And you have it there and you don't know what to do with it. Jesus. There are times when it is problems in the family. Hmm. So many different situations today that warrants a deep cry Amen. from the heart. Amen. A cry that will move the heart of Almighty God. Oh, Lord. A cry that will get him roused. Oh, yes. But, hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. My Lord. Yes. Cry out mm. from the heart. Jesus. Cry out deep. Yes. From the heart. What is it? Mm. That you need to lift up from Jesus. your deep down in your spirit. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. And shout a cry to God. Jesus. God, mm. hear my cry. Yes, oh, Jesus. Oh, and attend mm. unto my prayer. Yes. I want you to be moved. My Lord. My God. Yes, Jesus. Jesus. Almighty God. Mm. There is power mm. in crying out mm -mm -mm. to the God of Abraham and 
Isaac. Yes. To the God of Jacob. Yes. And to the God of all people. Yes. So yes, 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 yes. The word of God mm. confirms that in Exodus mm. 2, from verses 23 to 25, and from chapter 3, 1 to 10, the word of God born bears witness that the children of Israel were captured and they were in bondage in Egypt. Mm -hmm. So many times we talk about that story. Hmm. We talk about that account mm -hmm. that they were there in suffering My Lord. for over 400 years. My Lord. I can imagine day by day that they get up and the taskmasters were, they were on their heels. My Lord. Whipping them. Mm. Allowing them to, to do work that was out of the ordinary. Force labor. And whether or not they were sick, whether or not they were lame, they had to get up day by day mm. on the demand of their taskmasters. And they had them on God's people mm. who were supposed to be set apart. My Lord. The people of God that he had loved from the beginning and had promised to Abraham and Isaac mm -hmm. that he would have blessed them. Yes. And here they were in bondage Jesus. in Egypt. All Pharaoh had them. And they made well the taskmasters to, to get the whip cracking day mm -hmm. by day. Mm -hmm. And they were crying. Jesus. They cried to God. Have you not seen? My God. Are you going to allow us to die in Egypt? In a strange land? Are you going to allow us to stay here? My God, my God, my God. And die without you setting us free. Jesus. <laughs> and they cried from their heart. And I'm sure that there were nights that they didn't rest. That they cried to their God. And the word of God confirms that in that same Exodus 2, mm. 23 to, 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 to 25, and 3 from 1 to 10, that one day God said, I have heard. My Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey, my Lord. Jesus. Yes. The cry of my people have come to me, and he was now aroused. Yes. Jesus. To send a message. Mm. To all Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. What is it that you desire God mm. to do for you today? Jesus. Who is it that you need God to send a message to? Mm. To tell them, look, <laughs> you can't keep my child any longer Jesus. in Egypt. Yes. My Lord. You cannot allow your taskmasters. Mm. To continue to keep them into a place where I don't want them. Those taskmasters, I tell you. <laughs> Earth still has them. I can tell you that. Yes. You think you're living in the United States, but trust me, if you look at it, you're indeed in Egypt. My because the taskmasters that come to you day by day, Relationship taskmasters, the troubles that can be created mm -hmm. in relationships. Some people are suffering day by day at the hands of marriage. Say they are married, my God. And I'm telling you, taskmasters day by day. Mm -hmm. Have them at a place. My Lord Jesus. Taskmasters of anger. Mm -hmm. Some folks, my God, are in bondage. Mm -hmm. Those taskmasters, the taskmasters of anger have them at a place and they can't get away. Day by day, they get up and they remember what was done to them. And they can't free themselves from it. They chains bound them and they have them in Egypt. Taskmasters of life's hardships and difficulties. You get up and you can't meet yourself. He had made you the head and not the tail. That he will allow you to lend and not borrow. But yet the taskmasters of hardships and difficulties. God's people lose everything that they have. They're 
ridiculed. They are left to settle for things that are the least of this world. And yet when you look at the wicked, the wicked has more than enough. Yes. You tell me about that. How does that work? With God's people. Addiction taskmasters. Folks are addicted to different things. You think you're not in Egypt? Yes, indeed. You're in Egypt. Under bondage. Chained and shackled. My God. And you can't move. But I'm encouraging everyone who are facing those taskmasters. Whatever it is. Whatever it is, Sister Joyce. You might have some issues there. Some taskmasters who might have family members at a place for you. And you don't want them there, my God. But it is for us to cry out. To cry out. Yes. From the heart. Yes. And tell God, what is this that you need to be relieved of? What are those taskmasters that keep you day by day whipping your tail and you can't get away from it? Mm. Taking away your joy day oh, by day. Lord. The joy that Jesus Christ gave to you. Yes. He said, my peace I give unto you, not as the world gives. And yet your joy has been stolen. Jesus. Day by day you get up. And it's war that you face. Mm. Egypt. Mm -hmm. In the United States. My God. But I'm here to encourage you. That there is power. My God. There is power. Yes. My God. Jesus. There is power. Mm. Yes. There's power. In the blood. Yes. And once blood was shed. Yes. Yes. Then you have the authority. Cry out oh, to the Almighty God. Yes. And He will hear your cry. The word says in Psalm 119, from verses 145 to 146, David knew how well to cry out to God. Yes. David, yes. when he was pursued by old Saul, yes. wanted to kill him. Mm -hmm. David had to hide himself, my God, in a cave. Yes. Run from his, uh, his palace. Yeah. And David knew who his strength was. My Lord. David says, I cry out with my whole heart. Jesus. <laughs> I'm not talking about a little wind mm. cry. Ah, oh, Lord. I'm cry talking about a deep cry. My yes. Lord. From the heart. Yes. Way down. Way down in the heart. Yes. And he says, hear me, O oh Lord. I will keep your statutes. I cry out to you, save me. And I will keep your testimonies. Save me, Lord God, from these taskmasters. Save me. There is power in crying out. When you cry out from the heart, you make you have a child. And you are there and you hear that child cry out, Mommy, Daddy! You are going to rush and mm -hmm. throw everything. Amen. I hear my, my daughter-in-law talk about my little granddaughter in her room sleeping. And the child make a shriek. Yeah. Mommy! Daddy! And they dash out of their rooms like a flying machine yeah. to, her, to her aid. Yeah. And it's the same thing with Almighty God. Amen. If you cry out from the heart, yes. the heart, the cry must come. From way down. My God. To move your yes, God. Yes. For him to say yes. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. My Lord. Mm. My child has now known that mm. the strength is in me. Amen. And that I can be moved and yes. do something. Yes. To change some things. Yes. Mm. I can do it. Yes. Mm. Jesus. Yes. Cry out. Mm. From the heart. Mm. Don't be ashamed. Mm. Don't be scared. Mm. To cry out to your God. 
in the wee mornings, my God, when everyone is asleep. Ah, oh, Lord God, I know about that morning cry. Oh! The morning cry that will arouse the Almighty God. His powers, poised and ready to listen with an attentive ear. Ready to hear what you're bringing up. Despite the fact that he know or knew what you needed even before you were aware of it. Mm. But he wants to hear the cry. Yes. Because that cry, my God, it signifies dependency yes. on the Almighty God. Yes. Yes. It, it, it signifies a faith, your faith in the living God. That he's able to make a change in your situation. Yes. Who are you going to cry to? Are you going to cry to a spouse? Are you going to cry to a child? Are you going to cry to your boss? Folks love to tell the boss all the problems, some of them, thinking that the boss is going to change it, might give them a raise. No, not for me. The only boss that I know oh, is Jehovah God. God. Amen. And he's a fair boss. Yes. He's a God of equity. Yes. And when I go to him, my God, he's going to do something about it. Amen. He's going to do the right thing yes. about it. We also heard of a man who was at a certain place, shackled by the taskmaster. Of blindness. My Lord. Mm. Blind Bartimaeus. Yeah. Mark chapter 10. From 46 to 52. Bears witness. That this man was there at a place. Mm. Blind my God. Mm. Not able to see his loved ones. Mm. Not able to do much with his life. Because with the limitation of his sight. Mm. He's not able to do anything. The word of God said he used to beg. Position himself to get arms. And one day Jesus Christ passed by. The Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mm. Decided to go his way out of Jericho with his disciples. Oh, and the word of God confirms that when blind Bartimaeus heard. I mean he had never seen the works of the Lord. But undoubtedly he heard about what he did in the past. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he said, ah, this is my opportunity. I'm going to cry out from the heart to the Lord. I'm going to cry out. I don't even know what to say to him. But I'm going to just cry and say, Lord Jesus, mm. son of have David, mercy. have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Jesus. Have mercy upon me. Mm. I'm going to read the word quickly. Mm -hmm. My God, for us to, to hear the true account. Mm -hmm. What went down, my yes. God. The word says, Now they came to Jericho. As he went out of Jericho with his disciples. And a great multitude. Blind but Timaeus, the son of uh, Timaeus. Sat by the road begging. Mm -hmm. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth. He began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of thou, son of David, have mercy on me. Mm. Then many warned him to be quiet. Hmm. Shut up. But he cried out. They warned. Mm. Son of David, mm. have mercy on me. So Jesus stood. Jesus was aroused. Mm. <laughs> Jesus said that cry. There's something about that cry. I can't pass it. Mm -hmm. It caught my attention. My attention is engaged. Mm -hmm. How can I pass such a cry mm -hmm. coming out yes. from the heart? Yes. Yes. Thou son of David, mm -hmm. have mercy mm -hmm. on me. I was so intrigued with that word as oh, I read Lord. it. Because the man in Parthenius knew that he was blind. And yet, he didn't ask the Lord to restore my sight. He cried out for mercy. He cried out, have mercy upon me. And I think sometimes all we have to do is to just to cry. And say, Lord, be merciful unto me, a yes. sinner. Yes. 
Yes. Oh, glory be to God. Yes. Let God search, it, search their hearts. Yes, Lord. And then fulfill some of those deep things that we have perplexing us. Some of those taskmasters that we cannot get rid of. If Jesus our God would have mercy, my God, all those would be taken care of. Blind Bartimaeus knew well. He says, have mercy on me. Yes. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. Come over here, son. Come over here to me because uh, that cry that you cry. Hmm. It's a special cry. It's a special cry hmm. that came out. It's not a cry from the lips, you see. But it's a cry deep from the heart. Hmm. Then they called the blind man saying to him, be of good cheer. Yes. The same folks who are telling him to shut up. Mm. Once they knew that Jesus Christ now had beckoned to call the man. Yes. They tell him, they assured his heart, yes. be of good cheer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Using the same word that Jesus told his yes. disciples. Be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. Yes. Because I have overcome the world, then I can overcome your taskmasters for you. All you got to do is just to cry out from the heart. Oh, yes, sir. Rise, he is calling you. And join aside his garment. You stopped. Take him, took off his garment and, and put it aside, my God. And he rose and came to Jesus. And can you imagine he was just struggling all over, yes. trying to feel his way yes. to get to Jesus. Yes. So Jesus answered and said to him, What do you want me to do for you? Hmm. What, 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 what is this mercy? That you're asking for. Hmm. What are some of the multitudes, my God, of taskmasters, that you want this mercy to cover this day? What do you want from me? Hmm. And the blind man said to him, Rabboni, Master, hmm. <laughs> that I may receive my sight. Hmm. Oh, glory to God, the taskmaster of sight me down, bound it for years, and I want to be rid of it. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said to him, go your way. Your faith has made you well. Yes. Hmm. And the word of God confirms, immediately he received his sight. Mm -hmm. And what he did, he followed Jesus. <laughs> Not like some folks when they get past mm -hmm. their yeah. Jordans. Yes. They forgot the they pass. They forgot where they were coming from. Yes. They forgot about the Savior who yes. did it. Yes. Oh, we gotta be careful of that, says the yes. Spirit of God. That when we cry out to God and when God has met our needs, yes. we better be careful yes. that we remember yes. our God. Yes. Because you always have to tell the children of Israel. Oh, remember, remember, remember. Yes. A very short memory. Jesus. And God's people sometimes fall in the same plight. Mm -hmm. Forgetting mm -hmm. what God has done for them. Not so with blind Bartimaeus. He received his sight immediately. And he says, yes. Uh, Oh my God, now that I can see, I want to follow the master. My Lord. I want to be right beside him. Hmm. To see when he frees other people mm -hmm. from their taskmasters. Hmm. There's something about crying out. There is power. Yes. Mighty power. Oh my God. What you see? We have to have the faith. To cry out to God. The cry that will move almighty God. Hmm. A cry that will summon that our faith is deep and anchored in the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Jeremiah 33, 2 to 3 says, Thus says the Lord who made it. The Lord who formed it to establish it.
The Lord God Almighty is His name. Call to me. Cry out to me. And I will answer you. And show you great and mighty things. Which you do not know. I will show you some things my God. That you cannot even begin to conceive. That those things could be called into existence. When the taskmasters of doubt have you at a place, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will tell you something. That if you cry out to God mm -hmm. from the heart, mm -hmm. that Jesus Christ, the Son of Almighty God, mm -hmm. the Master who calms the sea, mm -hmm. the roaring sea, mm -hmm. that He is able, He is more than capable. To set us free from those taskmasters. Whatever they want to be. Don't let them have you down. Don't let them make you lose sleep. If you're going to be losing sleep. It should be about when you're crying out to God. Mm -hmm. Sending up your petitions. Lord God. Mm -hmm. I cannot make sense of this. Oh but I'm crying out to you today. <laughs> I'm crying out from the heart. Why is this? Why is it I'm at this place? Why is it that I cannot be set free from this? Talk to Jesus about it. Cry out to him. He will hear you. He will hear you in my distress. David says in Psalm 120 and verse 1. In my distress I cried to the Lord. And he heard me. I cried out from the heart. To the almighty God. The creator of heaven and earth. The one who spoke the world into existence. That he is able to speak. To those taskmasters. He's able my God. To rebuke them. Mm -hmm. And to say come. It's time I have heard. Hmm. I've heard the cry of my children. My Lord. And you've got to set them free. <laughs> you cannot keep them no longer in bandage. Mm. You cannot keep them no longer in lack. Mm. My Lord. You cannot do it. Because I'm their God. And I promise that I will never leave them nor forsake them. I promise that if they wait patiently on me. That there comes a time. That you will be set free. You will overcome. All these struggles. The things that keep you. In this place of mediocrity. That God can set you free. Yes. Jesus Christ set blind Bartimaeus free. He set the children of Israel free. And not only them, my God, but the children, my God, of Nineveh. Hmm. Who God had sent a warning by Jonah to them. Change your ways. Cry out to me. <laughs> and I will give you, I will give you a new life. Yes. I will give you a new lease on things. And the word of God says and confirms that they cried out. They put on sackcloth. Mm -hmm. And they cried out to God. And God relented yes. and heard them and changed the order of things for them. When he said it was destruction, he changed it and made it all well. Yes. My God. Cry out to the Almighty God. There is power. There is power when you cry out to God. Don't be scared. Don't follow the script of society. Society is not in touch with reality. I can tell you that. So don't follow the script. It's not going to help you. Follow the script. That is recorded in the word of God. Saying to us. Cry out to the Lord. Psalm 
18 and verse 6 says, In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. And he heard my voice from his temple. And my cry came before him, even to his ears. He has a very attentive ear, church. Yes. He's a God who does not need pajamas. <laughs> he doesn't sleep. Amen. Never busy. Never. Never too busy. Never. Amen. He's awake. Yes. Amen. And every time that you Amen. cry to him, he hears. Mm -mm -mm. He hears it. Hallelujah. Yes, he hears it. Hallelujah. He hears it. And it is oh. for us. To remain faithful. Yes. To remain consistent. Yes. To remain unshaken mm -hmm. in our faith. Yes. Believing that Almighty God is able. Yes, He is able. He is able. Not only did blind Bartimaeus cry out to God, or the children of Israel cried out, but we read of a leper in Mark 1. From 40 verses 40 to 42, the word confirms that this leper, after his body was covered with sores, mm. pain, my God, the taskmaster of sores had him going day by day. I'm sure that he had to rub himself sometimes in dirt so that he could ease the pain and the suffering. And Jesus Christ too was passing his way. The word confirmed in Mark 1 from 40 to 42. And I'm going to read it quickly. The word says, Now a leper came to him, imploring him, crying out to him, fell on, the, on his knees before him. And he says, Lord Jesus, if you are willing, you can make me clean. You can set me free from this yes. dust master. Yes. And Jesus, the word says, was moved with compassion. His heart was ripped. Mm. And he stretched out his hand. And touched him. And said to him. I am willing. Yes. I am willing because I heard your cry. My Lord. And he says be cleansed. Be healed and make home. As soon as he had spoken. Jesus had spoken it. Immediately the leprosy left the man. And he was cleansed. Yes. My God. I said, there is power. My Lord Jesus. There is power. Amen. When you cry out Amen. to God, mm -hmm. there is truly power. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. The power of crying out to the Almighty God. It is for real church. I can tell you that. There is nothing that I have cried out to God about and he has not done it. Hmm. Yes, he does it. And I can testify to that fact. Psalm 34, 17 and 20 confirms the righteous cry out. And the Lord hears and delivers them out of all. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart. And save such as have a contrite spirit. Mm. When you are able to humble yourself yes. before Almighty God. Amen. Little up yourself. Amen. And make sure you can cry to God. Amen. Don't feel as if no, I, 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 can't, I can't cry. I've never cried. It's not manly to cry. Who do we think we are? The word says we have to be of a contrite spirit. Yes. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He guards all his bones. Glory be to God. Not one of them is broken. And I love that word. Because I'm assured that God is able to keep me. Even though some taskmasters may rock me. My Lord. That they won't be able to break my bones. I will stand uprightly and praise and cry out to my God. What a God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Folks need to get to know this God. I will encourage everyone who listens 
that you have not come to know, if you have not come to know this God, this Jesus that you can cry out to, whatever the situation that you're going through, right now you can fall on your knees and cry out from the heart to yes. him. Talk to him in your own words. You don't have to have a script. Just, just open your heart and cry out to your God. He is a mighty God. We cannot understand him, my dear child, children, but we can trust him. We might not understand him all the time because sometimes when we cry, we still have to wait. But he is sure. I can tell you that one day he's going to turn up. Amen. And the situation is going to change. He's going to flip it. Double for your trouble. <laughs> Say the word of God. Double for your trouble. Hallelujah. My Lord Jesus. Oh, the depths of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of Almighty God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. For who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has become his counselor? Or who has first given to him? And it shall not be repaid to him. For of him and through him, <laughs> glory be to God, and to him are all things. The all-wise God. The all-wise God. Who assures us. That if we wait. On the Lord. We shall renew their war strength. We shall mount up with wings. Like eagles. We shall run. And not be weary. We shall walk. And not faint. Teach us the Lord God. How to wait upon you. Teach us how to cry out. Jesus. Unto you O God. Teach us Lord God Almighty. To you. Be the glory. Forever. And ever. And ever. And ever.
Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of our God Almighty. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh, we will praise the Lord. We will praise and cry out to our God. 